Hey guys, welcome back to this very another episode of Program Hub. My name is Vishal, and in this episode of Program Hub, we are going to study about HTML tags. Now, HTML tags is one of the most important topics of the HTML because these are the core elements that help us build an HTML website. So in the previous video, we learned about how we can create an HTML file. Also, we saw some of the basic tags such as HTML tag, a body tag, and a paragraph tag. But in this episode, we will take up a greater look into the HTML tags that are the building blocks for an HTML file. But before that, we will take back a look into the structure of an HTML file. So let's take up a look at the structure of an HTML page. Let's take up a look as how it is constructed. So the very first tag that we have in any of the HTML page is the HTML tag. So HTML tag is the beginning of every HTML page. Inside the HTML tag, we have a body tag. So this is the entire structure of an HTML page, the most essential structure of an HTML page. Firstly, we have the HTML tag. Inside that, we have the body tag. And it is this place where all our content comes into. So whatever the content we need to display on our website, it comes right inside the body tag. For example, if you want to have a heading, it will come inside the body tag. Then if you want to have a paragraph, it will come inside the body tag. Then also we can have something as heading 2 that is in subheading or another form of an heading that we will be learning very soon. So inside the body tag, we can have a lot of things like images, links, buttons, and more images, videos, and content flowing around. So whatever we want to display in our website, that will all come right inside this body tag. So before we move ahead to learning tags, we will take up a look at a real website. This is a program hub website. So over here, if you look very carefully, you can see in this page, there are a lot of things added. For example, you can see over here, there's an heading, right? So there's an heading. Then there's some text that has an overlay link onto it. So by clicking on this link, we can go ahead to a different page. Then we can see there's an image over here. Then there are some paragraphs and there's a button. So this is an overall look at a website. Like whenever we see any website, we have things like this flowing around. We have images, we have links, we have text, and we have a lot of things flowing around. So to build all these things, we need tags. Now what are tags in reality? Let's try to understand what are actually tags. Now tag acts like containers. They are containers and they define what is the information inside that so we all know that there is an opening tag and there's a closing tag so inside the opening tag and the closing tag the tag defines what kind of information it has so if we study about tags we have a lot of kind of tags but the most essential and the basic kind of tags that we have is an heading tag now a heading tag is actually defined into six levels that we will be learning very soon the six levels of the heading tag but a heading tag will define that the content inside this tag is nothing but a heading then we have a paragraph tag that we have studied in the last lecture what it actually defines but to just give you a recap of it a paragraph tag defines just some normal text so if you want to display some normal text we can use paragraph tag so then we have something as bold italic superscript and subscript tags now what are these these are nothing but just simple formatting options that we have for our text then we have something as image tag image tag allows us to add images to our website then we have something as anchor tag anchor tag allows us to display links on our website and lastly we have break and horizontal rule tag now there are many more tags other than this but we are taking up a look only at these essential tags because these are the most used tags and you must be thorough with these tags we will also take up a look at the other tags also but now for this video we will only take up a look at these tags so let's start with the very first kind of a tag that is the heading tag so let's head over to my visual studio code and now i'm inside my visual studio code and we'll start to learn about the heading tag now how is an heading tag defined so if we want to learn about heading tag it is actually defined into six levels starting from h1 
So there is an opening bracket, there is a closing bracket. Inside that we have H1 and there is automatically the closing tag added over here. That is the forward slash H1. So inside this, whatever we write, that will be displayed as an heading. For example, let me write over here my first heading. Okay, just let me clear this clutter up. Okay. So I'll just save this and I'll try to refresh the page over here. Now you can see over here that there's a text over here that is displayed in a font that is bold enough that can be read as an heading over here. So my first heading. Now H1 defines the main heading. Then after H1, we have got six levels of headings. So H1 is the first level of heading. And after that, we have five more levels of subheadings. So let me show it to you. We can define it as H2. And it goes on further like that. H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. So H2 will be a smaller kind of a heading. Let's see. Second heading. Let's give it save. And let's try to refresh the file. As you can see over here, the second heading that we have is smaller in font size than the first heading. So let's try adding these third, fourth, fifth, and sixth headings over here. So let's give it a try. So heading three, third heading, then H4, that stands for the fourth heading. H5, that stands for this fifth level of the heading. And then finally, we have H6, that stands for the sixth level and the smallest level of heading. Give it a save. Try to refresh the page. So as you can see over here, we have all the six kinds of the headings. Now as you can see over here that all the heading sizes is constantly decreasing in the font size. So the sixth heading will have the smallest font size whereas the first heading will have the largest font size. So if you want to display headings in varying font sizes, you can use level 1, level 2, level 3 and level 4 and so on any of the headings of your choice. Now let's get ahead with adding the paragraph tag and learning about the paragraph tag. We have already learned about the paragraph tag in the last class also but we will take up a quick recap about the paragraph tag. Now a paragraph tag is defined by P as we can already see over here. There is hello world and there is this is the beginning printed over here. So if you want to add any of the text inside your website you can just try adding a paragraph tag. Now let's go ahead and try a paragraph tag once again over here. I'll just hit enter and a P over here. This is the paragraph tag. We, we automatically have the closing tag over here. Now let's go ahead and type something. My website content comes up over here. Okay, let's save this file. Try to refresh. So you can see over here, we have a new statement that tries to say that my website content comes over here. This is just a random line. By the way, you can add anything that you want. Now, let's try adding something more. Let's get ahead with the formatting tags. Now, what are the formatting tags that we have? Let's give it a look. We have the bold, italic, superscript, and subscript. Now, bold we all know whenever we want to highlight any of the text, like whenever we want to highlight any of the text, we use the bold feature in our word processor. Similarly, we have a bold tag inside the HTML. Now let's try adding up a bold tag. For example, now if I want to display this website into a bold format, what I will do over here, I will simply go ahead, opening bracket B and a closing bracket B. I will just move this website in between this bold tag. So I have an opening bold tag, I have a closing bold tag, inside that I have the word website. I will save this file and I will give it a refresh.
So now I can see that inside this statement, the word website is now into a bold format. Similarly, if I want to make something into an italic format, okay, I want to show something into an italic format. Let's say I want to display hello world in an italic format. Now I can do that also. That's very easy. We have an opening bracket, an I and a closing bracket and it defines the italic tag. I will simply move this hello world inside this italic tag. Now inside this italic opening tag and closing italic tag, we have the word hello world. I will save this file and give it a refresh. Now as we can see over here, the hello world, this statement, okay? This statement over here is printed in italic format. So this is how we can add things up into italic format or in bold format. So the next tag that we have is the superscript tag. Now a superscript tag is used to display something into the power format. For example, we have x square. So where the two term is displayed at the top. If you want to type something like that, I will just hit up an opening bracket paragraph. Okay. Now firstly, I need x. So I will just type x. Now I want the two into a superscript format. I will add s u p. This is the opening and closing tag for superscript. I will add two over here. I will give it a save and I'll try to refresh. Now you can see over here the x square. This is displayed in the x square format. Now two over here is into the superscript. Now similarly, we also have something as subscript. It is very easy to add a subscript also. So I will just try to copy this. And instead of SUP that defines the superscript, I will add a subscript. It is defined by SUB. Okay. It is defined by SUB. Now, over here, I'll just give it a save. I'll try to refresh. Now, you can see over here the two, that is the number two, is actually inside the subscript format. So, this is how we can add a superscript and we can add in subscript. Now, just not to make this video very long for you, then image tag anchor tag and the break and the horizontal rule tag will be covered up in the next class. So that's it for the day. We'll meet you in the next class. Till then, goodbye and make sure you do subscribe to our channel for more videos.